It's in your bomb shelter. That's where you right. You have to have a. So shelter. you also need a bomb shelter. Hundred hour candle. I mean, it's survival gear. It's all stuff that like. But it's the the whole patriot angle makes me makes me. It's true patriot. Only true patriots understand that the United States is about to collapse. <laughs> only people that love their country think that it's on the verge of completely. I tell you what, that Joe Biden. <laughs> That's the why Great Reset so is coming. <laughs> what is the Great Reset? Oh, it's that's reset way too much to get block. into right now. <laughs> You're muted. Sorry. When you call the number for this company, it's like some epic Patriot music that plays call in the it. background. <laughs> I want me a dang... I need a survival bucket because Joe Biden about to hit that reset button. Yeah. And I got to watch out for them gators in Arizona. Don Garn. Anyone here from Arizona? Oh, wee! Tim Pool sent me. I know you never, you'll never drop Tim Pool. Doctor Wolfstar says, Ethan, you're once again attacking YouTuber sponsors and teaching your audience it's all right to do uh, when YouTubers don't share your opinions. Then you cry when you lose your sponsors. How do you not understand? Well, thanks for the ten dollars. Uh, first of all, that's a generous donation, actually. So thank you very much. First of all, nobody taxed the sponsors. Okay. But I do think I'm just making a funny observation. This is Wait, fucking this funny. This is what objectively do do? funny. I don't know what to say, Doctor Wolfstar. This, Listen, this he is made a, a funny claim. ass company. Tim Pool made a claim, specifically to me, that none of my sponsors ever dropped me because I'm true to myself. He lied about me. I said, okay, who are your sponsors? Because you know. Oh hell yeah. Oh, this is the the slot bucket. Oh, this is inspiring. Trust me. No matter what I do. No matter what I say or show, the slot bucket people will never drop Tim Pool. He's right. So, I, the, 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 these this are... This has nothing to do with anything. We're just making fun of this. Yeah, product. I'm not... Like, I'm not okay. It's not that serious. By the way, I don't... Also, like, if you're into it, go and buy it, you know? Yeah. We're just making fun yeah, of it. Yeah, go fucking buy the <laughs> slot bucket if you want the slot bucket <laughs> and, and use code Tim Pool. Whatever and I, the I fuck. Don't, I don't think... I don't think... Not that he's serious. in any danger of losing uh, Patriot, whatever, the survival uh, dot co or No, whatever. he's right. They will never leave him. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to pump them more now. Yeah. We're talking about them. Exactly. Maybe there, there's probably some people watching right now. They're like, I need a fucking slot bucket. Yeah. yeah right. We might have got them some business. Use a, a code pool. Yeah. Or whatever the fuck his code is. Floppy pool. Safe and ready meals dot com. I'm really genuinely not. This is fucking funny. Am I crazy? This Use is funny. Use code stool. He called me out. I looked at his sponsors. This is funny. I don't want anyone to go write them emails. And like you rarely think they would care if you did. They would not, not care. Not down the Jordan Pierce. At all. <laughs> By the way, in actuality, whose sponsors have I really gone after? I mean, the thing with Keemstar was, again, just a joke where I was like, hey, look, uh, G Fuel sponsors this guy who, like, bullies people into unaliving themselves. That's pretty crazy. Because it was on his fucking desk as he's telling uh, Etika, why don't you just jump off a bridge then? Right. I'm like, and I made a joke. This fucking unaliving is sponsored by G Fuel. That's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Thank you. It's funny. I don't fucking care, dude. And then who else? <laughs> James Charles? Like, okay, you or David Dobrik? Like, you guys really fucking, like, some people shouldn't have sponsors. Well, and we didn't, you never went after his sponsors. I don't think I did. No, so I don't know. I, recall. I, 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 I I um, I completely reject that notion. I don't really go after people's sponsors. Maybe I've done it once or twice in the case of like James Charles or someone really heinous like that. But almost, I don't think I ever genuinely say go after people's sponsors. Don't go after anyone's sponsors. I don't fucking care. Yeah, only go after my sponsors, please. Thank you. <laughs> Which I I don't even need to tell you that. You guys, you guys got all the initiative right on your own. Go getters, all of you. But you gotta admit that slop shit's funny. It's funny. It's funny. an episode. <laughs> because you look duplicitous, you. I, I, I feel like this is a guy who got started doing edgy comedy on Reddit and YouTube. Yes. And things like that. And that. Bro, that was like 10 years ago. Like, can you fucking move on? How long ago was it that we even made edgy videos on HBO Productions? It's literally, I think it's almost been 10 years. And to, it's like these guys, they need to fucking He's move He's basically on. telling you who you are and what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Right? Like what? Yeah, what I'm sorry. This is America. Mind your own business, bruh. 
goddamn rest. But, but even if you watch those old videos, I mean, yeah, maybe the way you phrased some things was not right or the language wasn't appropriate. But if you watch them, like, how many times, how much shit did you get for d defending those, um, those black guys and Joey Salad's video? Oh, a lot. It was like, crazy. Yeah, yeah like, it's, it's crazy. If you watch any of those old videos, like, the People were unsubbing, calling me a fucking woke liberal moron. And mm -hmm. the only redeeming thing was that somebody actually leaked the video of Joey faking it. And that I was, was like, very oh, fuck you guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was one of my big wake-up calls when I did, um... When I made that Joey Salad's right. fake Trump card thing that was super racist, I was like, "This is so fake. Everybody knows this is fake." And and then and so I'll, many people did it. Yeah, the comments were like, "You know this is real, Ethan. Like this is totally real." And I was like, "Holy shit! This card <laughs> yeah. is fucking racist freaks." We were watching my video. By that, I yeah, remember. and we so much that it became a meme. You know this <laughs> one's real. Yeah, you know this one's real, Ethan. <laughs> that was one of the comments, so it became a meme. <laughs> but it's like Tim. You know, back in third, you know, back in uh, when you were three, you used to shit in the fucking floor. So, uh, what kind of hypocrite are you using a toilet? <laughs> right. You know. And as times went right. on, he thought, "I just better say what they're saying." The problem is, well, God, he's like he knows me better than myself. He knows everything about me. Yeah. Once again, this is not mainstream America. He is bending the knee to weirdos. Jordan Peterson is popular among regular people. Yeah, he's also a fucking weirdo who supports conversion therapy. His wife or his daughter dates a known human trafficker. He just went to jail, he's just arrested. And he's a, uh, he's a fucking weirdo. And he also he's like cringe, him. he's cringe. Yeah, he's cringe. I mean, the worst crime of all of those things is that he's absolutely cringe. Posting cringe is He's posting is, cringe. Is the work. Yeah. What are we gonna do about men? <laughs> what are we gonna do about men? <laughs> They're eating out of slop buckets. Oh boy. They're <laughs> buying slop buckets at Tim the slop bucket dot com for seven hundred and fifty dollars. Their flip is one of my favorite of all time. <laughs> so what are we gonna do without men? Mm -hmm. yeah. What are we gonna do without Tim Pool? <laughs> the top head the top part of his head is missing. He loses brain cells every time he takes his beanie off. We can't let the air reach his brain. The man lives on slop buckets for Christ's sake. We need to get him real food. We need to get this man a waifu. He's got a sword and a gun behind him. How insecure can you be, man? I love that overlay. <laughs> oh man, I'm crying. You know, Tim Pool's head is like Geppetto and Pinocchio, don't you know? And uh, when, you know, it's a real boy and Tim Pool wishes he had the, a real top part of his head. Have you ever felt a light breeze on your brain? Tim Pool does. It's not good for you. His brain is out there doing amazing things. Tim Pool's brain is out there doing amazing things. He's actually built calluses on his brain. The people who don't like him are the fringe weirdos. Regular people do like him. Regular people don't know I, who I the fuck like Jordan is Peterson is. is. Are you kidding me? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I'd know who he is. <laughs> well, un unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't. The, Honestly, me too. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think Tim. Uh, doesn't realize that the people that watch his show are the fringe weirdos, so. Right, yeah. Well, it's caught, I think you got lost in the sauce there a little, a little bit. bit. There. Started mm -hmm. doing edgy comedy on Reddit and YouTube. Anyway, I love that shit. <laughs> Not have taken down Yeah, the no, uh, Tim Pool says he isn't into... Uh, I just make up shit about him. Yeah, so Tim Pool, <laughs> he says he's not into, like, having sex with underage kids, but, like, um... I don't, I don't even know how to spin that. Mm -hmm. So, let's go back in time. We need to get him a brain transplant zone. Pop, and clean up the and top of brain it. sponsors? Yeah. Up there. Welcome to head, head cap. For people missing half their dome. We screw it on like a plunger. <laughs> and you can take off your beanie and feel the air. That's that. <sighs> Thank you, Tim Pool. And shout out to the slop buckets. Slop 
buckets. Ace Family claims this is so good. Now, Eli, I don't know if you saw, we were did a whole poll and we were trying to guess what was going to happen with the Ace Family, Ace Fest. No, I didn't see that. Because they, so what happened with Ace Fest is that they said it was sold out after a day. Mm -hmm. And somebody figured out this really intelligent way to figure out how many tickets they actually sold. Mm. It wasn't a lot at all. Okay. And so we were like... So like a roughly 500, right? 500 to 600 tickets? 600. Yeah, somewhere they in They sold 600 tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Each ticket is for like... Five people? Or four or five people. Yeah. Though. But they said, oh, we sold it out. We're like, so either they're going to steal people's money, they're going to cancel the event, or are they going to open it up and try to like build hype and be like, it was sold out, but we're going to open more seats. That to me, that explanation didn't make a lot of sense to me because who would want to go to like an overcrowded? Right. But that's not what they said. Well, here, here, we got our answer. It was basically just yesterday. They put out a video and they answered our question. And with the link, it looks like it's back open, guys. <laughs> Let's see. It's super exciting that it's back open. Oh no, it's sold out again? Oh, no, it's still sold out. Oh no! It's sold out again? Shit! Scammed? Okay, here it is. Friday. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. So before we get into today's video, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of your love and support. We are so excited to do Ace Fest this year. Like, this is going to be I'm an so amazing time. So going into this, Catherine and I... You know we bought tickets, right? Yeah. We got a five-packer. Yep. I can't wait to see what happens there. And it's in Palmdale, which is like desolate fucking... And it's in the middle of summer. It's like desolate <laughs> desert <laughs> hell there. <Right. laughs> we really didn't have an idea of how well we were gonna do. We didn't know how many people would wanna come to the Ace Fest. So we kept it at like a smaller scale than trying to go too big. If that makes sense, like we wanted to keep it smaller scale and then hopefully grow it because it's our first time doing this. So when tickets went on sale and we sold out, we were sitting there like... They, they're lying. They sold 500 tickets. Damn, uh, maybe we should have went bigger. Maybe it's, you know, the right amount of people. Um, I mean, I'm really happy with the amount of people that are going. Yeah. And I think it'll be amazing. Wait, Cameron found something interesting. This is on their website still. Only 5,000 tickets available. Get one before it's too late. So it says that despite Damned. being quote unquote sold out. Yeah. That doesn't... So did they close it already? It's just so weird. Okay, let me watch the video. It'll be so much fun and like the video will look amazing. But then again, it's like the venue has the capability of holding a lot more people. So with that being said, we were looking at your guys' feedback and we noticed a lot of you were unable to get a ticket because of how fast it sold out. Knowing Catherine and I, and we told you guys this numerous of times, it's very hard to please everyone, but since, Super hard to please everyone. Yes. Like we try to please everyone. It's just like, but yeah. since we do have the capability of expanding it, we're trying our best to do that for you guys. Mm -hmm. So the people that were unable to get a ticket, hopefully, fingers crossed, we literally just talked to them not too long ago. And we're actually going to go down and show you guys a little bit of the venue today and talk to them again for you guys and see if it's possible to make this happen. Because we really want to try to get everyone that's a part of the ace family who wants to come to be able to come all right guys so comment down below in the comment section let us know if you guys are still interested in going to ace fast so you still do not have it looks like it's not us. open yet maybe they didn't open it yet but let's see i they stickied this i still don't have tickets and i want to come sticky that shit something so weird with them i don't you know there's always something fishy going on uh the only comment I see about the one they stick it is, low-key feel bad for any Ace Family fan who actually bought tickets to their fest. It's giving fire festival. Yeah. I don't see no. anyone being like, yo, I need those tickets. What is the event supposed to be? Like, what's supposed to be happening? So it's a one day, and it's supposed to be like a carnival where they have rides mm. and presents and uh, live performances. It's just the, the financials don't make any... I just can't wait, dude. I know it's going to be such a shit show. I just can't wait. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Somebody just donated 10 bucks said, please send some love to the people in Palmdale like me. The Antelope Valley loves you. Shout out Palmdale. Shout out Palmdale. Shout out Palmdale. Sorry, Palmdale. Shout Last out. time we talked about Palmdale's it. Palmdale's beautiful. It's lush. <laughs> it's a lush, beautiful it paradise. Lush. No, it is. It can be beautiful. There's it's, there's beauty in, in the desolation of the desert, you know? Yeah, there's beauty in death. The Sahara can be <laughs> Sahara it's, can be beautiful. It's entropy and it's uh and it's life. Right, yeah. You know, there's be there's beauty in uh supernovas beauty and, and death. There's there there's beauty <laughs> there's be, there's there's beauty in <laughs> meteors hitting the earth and destroying life. I mean, yeah, you can find beauty and stuff. Absolutely. From death to life. <laughs> yeah. Everything beautiful. I'm so excited. This is the. I think I'm most excited about Ace Fest this year because <laughs> we got. I just can't wait to see what a shit show this is. So we also noticed that a lot of you guys would want to come to the Ace Fest by yourselves, and you wouldn't be able to come with a group of people. It's a family event. Who's going there by themselves to fucking bring home a kid that ain't theirs? Nobody said that. Also, the two ticket options is hard for you to commit to. So we're gonna try our best. Dude, it's a fam. Who would go to that by themselves? Genuinely, that's demented. That's sick. <laughs> if you're going to Ace Fest alone, yeah, that is depressing. <laughs> that, is, that is sad. It's made for kids and their families. Not saying that oh. we're going to. I feel bad now. Individual <laughs> ticket. Somebody out there that actually would do that. Want to come by themselves? Just know that individual tickets may not have the same benefits as the other tickets. We're trying to make it as fair as possible, guys. Mm -hmm. We want to make Stay it as us. fair as possible. We want everyone to be happy. Like we're trying really hard to make everyone happy. Yeah. Um, when we realized that so many people were saying, like, "Hey, like, I just have one person to go with," or "I, I don't have anyone to go with," like, "I want to go," yeah. we realized, okay, like, there is still a say good. Stay at home. It's not for you. <laughs> Leave your lonely ass at home. Don't be around kids. You know? This, the two of them are so weird to me. Oh yeah. I never understand what's their deal. They're scammers. <laughs> and then they're getting away with it every damn fucking year they do, or every six months. This boxing fiasco just happened and now they're selling it tickets mm -hmm. to their next scam and people are buying it. <laughs> the VIP pass for this event allows you access to all 2022 Ace Family events including a boxing match that he has not announced the opponent for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's going to pan out. Yeah, I'm sure that's coming right up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who would ever take him up on that after what just happened? Yeah, that's like what's in what's universe. Yeah, guys. Why do they think they can put a festival together? In three months. I just don't understand that. <laughs> in three fucking months. And then they're already like, we want everybody to be happy, but it's really difficult. But why do you even do this? Why are you thinking that you can put together a festival? We got lots of inquiries from the uh, from the uh, hospital for sexual deviants who want to come with one person. So we're opening up to them and running a special promotion. Is there a hospital just for like p-words? Gotta be right. What is that question? Um, what? What? <laughs> well, because I was like, they'll run a special promotion for them for one ticket. It's one of those questions where I start to type to fact check and I'm like, <laughs> why fact check it? There's yeah. gotta be. What is it? The, he, the Ace family is running a special promotion. You're for, saying there has to be a hospital specifically for P-Words. Yeah. What? Why do you think no, that like there a, has to be? There's a Because it's like a prison slash rehabilitation center for like okay, SA so slash P-Words. Perhaps like, okay, an institution Yeah, I feel like there's got to be that. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm saying that Maybe if just the Ace family is trying right to sell tickets, what you're looking that's for a, they're trying to sell single rider tickets, that's a good place to start. Okay. <laughs> that's some bullshit. He has a, he'll build a special room for, with, for them with one-way class. It'd be nice. This place is called Predator's Paradise. Somebody said it's called Sorry. prison. Wait, hold on. Predator's the thing Paradise? That you're, the thing that it's you're asking prison. for is called prison. Oh, you know what else is called Predator, Predator's Paradise? Ace Fest. <laughs> Why is it called Predator's Paradise? No, it's, it's just the <laughs> title of this article I'm reading it now. It's about a mental hospital. Uh, uh, wow, I'll, sister I'll snapped. Uh, Love said that kind of rehab usually happens in prison. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's right. what Google said. Pred Predator's Paradise, a.k.a. Ace Fest. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Andrew Hart. Uh, here. Oh, sorry. Wait, what happened? 800 child M. Uh, 